Here we have the March of the Mammoths. These are all just really great story stone face and mammoth effigies. Um, and they all depict a great mammoth imagery. Now, this mammoth imagery repeats itself over and over again around the world. Um, there are trillions of these effigies around the world. Uh, they're very common and uh, they're made all the way back to Homo habilis 1.2 million years ago. Uh, they ended when the mammoth became extinct about 11,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago. So these are 12,000 years old and older. Uh, and what we have is uh, this piece here we can start with. And uh, this is from Calico Hills. This is a large flaked uh, mammoth facing left. Its trunk has been beautifully flaked all the way down here. Very nice sweeping motion. Its eye would be right up here. And this is its hair tuft. Now the hair tuft above the head has been all flaked beautifully up here. So this whole perimeter with the sloping back of the mammoth has all been, has all been beautifully flaked. It's a large example. And then we have a face with a big nose <laughs> looking off to the left. Uh, this the eye of the face here with the big nose. We have another face looking off to the right. And now we have a baby mammoth, very cool baby mammoth. This is its trunk now. This is its trunk down here, and this is its hair tuft above its head. So we have a beautiful baby mammoth image right there. And we turn it over this way. Uh, we have another baby mammoth image, wonderfully flaked here. Nice orange pat patination here. This was found on the surface in Calico Hills and is presumed to be Clovis and is a story stone face and mammoth effigy. And then, of course, when we hold it this way, now we have a wonderful mammoth effigy here with this, the eye of the mammoth. This is the hair above the eyebrow, the brow above its uh, eye, and then the hair tuft and then the trunk coming off uh, to the right. So just an outstanding mammoth effigy from the Calico Hills. And this one is ident identical in outline. And this is volcanic glass. This comes from, um, oh, a few hundred miles north of uh, Calico Hills, and that would be Mount Shasta. And uh, the bubble in the glass is the eye of the mammoth. This is the hair tuft, been beautifully flaked, by the way, all the way down the trunk of the mammoth has been outstandingly flaked into a very flowing trunk. So we have the mammoth now facing left, made out of beautiful volcanic glass from Mount Shasta, California. These are mainly Clovis. These are Clovis and pre-Clovis, but uh, most of the material from Mount Shasta uh, is Clovis. And then, of course, we have the mammoth now facing right as we do this mammoth now facing right. And you can see their outlines are identical. And then we have another identical type outline here. And this one is a very cool piece. That's the eye of the mammoth here, and that's its trunk coming down with its hair tuft. And then we have a face looking up from the back of the, ma from the mammoth. This is the eye, the pointed nose, and the mouth that's open down here off to the right. This side is really nicely done. Here's the eye of the mammoth that's been flaked into it. And this is the trunk that comes down. That's an excellent, by the way, excellent, excellent mammoth image. And uh, uh, that one is uh, quite a bit older. This is Clactonian. I bought these as Clactonian artifacts. They certainly didn't know that they were mammoth effigies. They, they, they weren't educated on the story stone effigies quite yet, but the rock dealer, uh, the, the, the art, artifact dealer in England sold me these as Clactonian artifacts that were found uh, uh, near Clacton, England on the English Channel in the southern part of England. And these date to about 400,000 before present and these are Homo heidelbergensis. So Homo heidelbergensis uh, made this wonderful effigy here of this beautiful mammoth image uh, facing right. But uh, just wanted to, uh, to share the uh, March of the Mammoth here and uh, the Calico Hills, the Clactonian, and of course the most beautiful Mount Shasta volcanic glass specimens.